Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash battle. That's blueapron.com slash battle to get your first three meals free. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Now this one, y'all know I'm going to love this. Y'all know they're going to be throwing hands because that's really all these two niggas do. Ryu from Street Fighter versus Jin from Tekken. Now, I ain't going to lie. It is probably going to be Ryu. Based on like his the, the different techniques he can use, like his his regular shit, they can he can use the demon type shit that Akuma use. Then he can use the like the the real the nothingness in the man shit. But then Jin Jin got his demon form, bro. I don't I really don't know. I'm on the walls. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Ryu. I'm gonna say Ryu. Watch Jin gonna end up winning. I'm gonna say Ryu though. But this is gonna be lit, bro. I know it is, bro. That nigga caught that bit. Hold on. That nigga turned. Listen. That nigga turned the color on. That nigga turned the color on, bro. There's no way I can lose. The talk is cheap. The answer lies in the heart of battle. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't even think I'm gonna be pausing it like this, bro. I'm not gonna be pausing this like that, bro. Cause they really, they not gonna do nothing else but get into it, bro. All these, both of these niggas, ain't neither one of these niggas with the witty remark stuff, bro. Like these is really, both of these niggas is really action tank niggas, bro. The whole This heat, Monica. You could do better than that. Come on. I shall show you Low key. Low key. Mid fight prediction. Y'all ain't never seen that. Uh they got him using that shit a uh, a smidge too early. And this nigga, this nigga, this nigga re, this nigga Ryu, he got like two, two more things he can go into, bro. Now I, now I know Ryu is winning, bro. Now I know for a fact why Ryu is gonna win, bro. Watch. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. I know for a fact Jen is finna get into it right now, bro. But watch, bro. Watch I'll be right. Watch I'll be right. You
That's the demon mode, bro. I told y'all that's one. That's one. He still got another one, bro. Mark my words, mark my words. Watch what's finna happen, bro. Just watch, just watch. <laughs> I walk the path of the true warrior. I told y'all, bro. I told y'all that's the way they be doing it, bro. That's the way they be doing it, bro. If 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 one person is going against another person, bro, and that first person only got one transformation, bro, and that second person got more than one, they gonna make that first person use that transformation quite early on in the fight and then say like they just did with Ryu that second person they gonna use their first transformation to like even out the playing field to match up with the other person and then they gonna use that second that second transformation and put them way way out that's a lit that's exactly what happened bro I get why it's called the power of nothingness now. There's nothing left in his chest. This one was a tricky match to decipher. Both Ryu and Jin had many displays of incredible feats, but very few truly showcased the upper limits of their power. We know that in their base forms, both could lift around 30 tons and move at supersonic speeds. Also, we know Ryu could maintain a much better level of control and discipline in Muno Ken than Jin in Devil Form. Yeah, hardcore Tekken fans know he had pretty good control over it in that Blood Vengeance movie, but it's pretty inconsistent with game canon. Even Tekken's creator has said it's not canon. Also, Jin's fall from orbit feat was impressive, but it is hard to quantify due to its presentation. Even if we assume we are to take it literally, a man of Jin's size landing at terminal velocity would equal around 18 tons of force. But to find their limits, we had to scale them to comparable characters. Scaling Jin to his father Kazuya was logical. Kazuya survived that 3.7 megaton laser blast, and it's clear it was necessary for him to be in devil form to do so. Kazuya's own laser blast was strong enough to help kick off a volcano's eruption, a feat which could require up to 100 megatons of TNT. But that's a very generous estimate, and its actual potency is likely much less. Since their power comes from the same place, and Jin's even defeated Kazuya before, it's safe to say Jin can do all this too. As for Ryu, we knew exactly who we had to scale him to. Let's talk about Akuma. First off, just to prove this scaling is reasonable, Ryu and Akuma share very similar abilities. Both were trained in the Atsutsuken fighting style, and both possessed the Satsui no Hado. They fought each other several times, and when the story was all said and done, Ryu emerged, ultimately victorious, based on his skill alone. Now that that's out of the way, let's watch Akuma punch an island to death! With a single strike, Akuma managed to break apart an entire island so yep. thoroughly that Ryu, who was on the island, was left floating helplessly in nearly clear water. Assuming the island is somewhat circular, we've estimated the volume and deduced that in order to fragment the island like this, Akuma's punch must have been over 400 megatons of TNT. That's more than four times stronger than anything a devil gene has pulled off. 
And Ryu takes blows from this guy all the time! Sure, Ryu wasn't getting hit with 400 megatons every time Akuma landed a punch, but the most a Devil Gene Carrier has ever survived amounts to less than 1% in comparison. Even if Jin could survive a strike as strong as Kazuya's volcano feet, it still pales in comparison. The fact that Ryu survived being on the island as it was blown apart helps justify this scaling too. Well, Jin still takes the speed advantage with that flight into orbit, but it doesn't mean much when the difference of power and toughness is this massive. When it came down to it, Ryu's strength, durability, and control were just too far out of Jin's reach. Wait, Wiz, we forgot a feat! You remember that Gun Jack robot? A later model of Jack once destroyed a meteor! Couldn't we just scale Jin to that? Well, it's unsupported by canon material, but even if we did, Guess who destroyed an even bigger meteor? Akuma. Akuma. Damn. Hey, that nigga well, Akuma up, different, bro. Ryu's taking care of business. The winner is Ryu. <laughs> Hold on, gun. I told y'all Ryu was gonna win, bro, and I told y'all exactly how he was gonna win, and that was literally the exact way he won. What can I say? You know. <laughs> uh.